Stop waiting for a voice and start looking for a verse. After I was baptized, I had the privilege of meeting with my pastor one-on-one -on -one each week at the same coffee house and oftentimes in the same booth. And one of the things he told me has stuck with me to this day. He would always say, but David, check your Bible first. You see, I thought it was interesting. This man I was putting all my hope in was putting all of his hope in this little book on the table. But what he understood was that the Bible was God's words to him, that teaching it was of tremendous responsibility and that to interpret it incorrectly could lead me astray and quite possibly out of the safest place to be, which is within the will of God. And so 10 years later, I'm still learning new things about the Bible. I don't receive it as outdated information, but as life-giving, daily sustaining truth. And so I stand before you in complete confidence right now, and I can say that every bad decision made, every undesirable consequence earned, and every ambition that led to heartbreak was because I didn't check my Bible first.